So we're now joined by Anne-Marie McCoy. She is in New Providence in the Bahamas. What can you tell us about Hurricane Matthew and how it treated Bahamas? The Bahamas has gotten a big lashing from Hurricane Matthew. At this moment, it is moving from here to Grand Bahama, which is probably going to be getting the full eye of it. It has left a lot of homes to in the Bahamas. People had to move to higher grounds. Police and soldiers had to remove some people because they refused us to move before the hurricane, and they were told to do so, such as in the South Beach area, Sea Breeze, and St. Andrew Beach Estate. Anything to do with up east, most places are flooded, and a lot of people, even on the lower line, have been flooded, such as Pinewood Gardens, right inside Nassau here, and many other areas have been suffering terribly. A lot of power lines are down. A lot of trees are down. The windows that people batten up, I am standing right before looking at one house. So two of the, the um, boards have been cast off. A lot of shingles are off the homes. It is devastating. It is devastating. I, it's going to be a long recovery. Trust me, it is not easy. As it is where I am, there is no falling power lines, but a lot of power lines have been falling other places. But they could not keep the power on because of their strength of Hurricane Matthew, which was Category 4. Now, in terms of the shelters, so, have, have you had any reports yet in respect of the shelters and how they stood up? Uh, uh, one place, the roof for the shelter was completely taken off and they had to evacuate the people to somewhere else. And the shelters here are over flooded. They are full to capacity. It's, it ain't no easy joke right here in Nassau, Bahamas. New Providence, it's not easy. It is early days yet, but in respect of food supplies and the availability of food and critical things like water, do you have any sense mm -hmm. as to whether there is adequate supplies of those critical commodities? I would say yes. I think food supply is adequate. How is it going to do after this effect now when everybody's food is running out? I don't know because the Bahamas depends on the boats to come from Miami in America to supply them with their goods for food store. And like we would say in Jamaica, St. Elizabeth is a bread basket. Now they have a par, um, an island called Andrews. They call it the Big Yard. That's where the Bamzi agriculture place is. And they have taken a big lick and they have got it. It's something to talk about. And Marie McCoy, thank you so very much.